Alright, I'm back. I got a nice car. And I'm about to do another mission. For Mr. M. Forgot his actual name. Maybe I could. Okay. What do you want? Man, I'll come back for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. Okay. You can call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. <laughs> uh... What can I do for you? See, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you're doing well for yourself. Look, I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? Yeah, well, I've been in this game for a lot of years. And I got out alive. It makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately. And maybe, just maybe if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you rip people off and get paid for. Yeah, everybody should go to college, but that's not what Grand Theft Auto is What about. I saw the other day was like, when a corpse briefly reanimates himself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day is a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well, in today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? No. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time in. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you can't buy with it, then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot. Who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. See, man, you a good time, you know that. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what. <sighs> least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. Not too far from here. Let's go. Alright, man. I'm following you. Alright, so now I'm this dude. <sighs> Let's take Amanda's car. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink with. Dad! Shit! I mean, I'm not going down the Western Highway! It's. It's been stolen! What? The yacht's been stolen? I was trying to sell it! I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it, they just want to take it! I'm hiding in the head! You're insane! Alright, I'm coming! For my boat! Alrighty then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. Hey, I have you out. Well. Ah. Lesson number one. Don't ever have kids. Hey man, look, if I had kids, I don't think no parenting issues would arise over who had both privileges and who don't. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in the bathtub. Shit, things that desperate, huh? No, but, you know, shit, I was making a point. Pathologizing self-deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. There's somewhere on the boat. There's somewhere on the western highway. Man, ain't you worried? About my boat? Yeah, I am. But you can always buy another boat. Yeah, tell my account that. Then you can always get rid of one. But have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. I ain't your homie. I'm someone you want to impress. Real. Man, I thought you was retired. Why the fuck do I want to impress some slip away motherfucker? Because I can still teach you a thing or two. Maybe help you open the door to all the joys that boat-related parenting issues entail. So I'm going to help you get this boat back, right? That you are, my friend. Can I 
I'm like switch over to Franklin so that I don't have to drive. Dang it. I help this guy. I'm chasing the No! Sure, I failed. If I drive too fast, he's gonna fly up. I can't get a 
Franklin likes this kid. Too much. I don't know the guy's name. I'm gonna find out. Okay, it's Michael, and the other guy's Trevor. One of the racist Franklin. See if you drive as fast as you talk. Regan Dish. Oh, we gotta do this thing, or we got to bounce. I do not like this kid. Talk. What do you do? Look, man, if he ain't tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. 
But I lost my fucking job and I thought maybe he could help me find a new Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully? Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking. Man, look, I don't know, homie. He seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Nah, nah, man. Well, well, maybe we could together, you know? Like, maybe we can get shit done we couldn't do separate. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. Yeah, well, we'll see. Look, <laughs> I'm sorry my dad lost to your job. It's hard out there. Huh. I mean, I'm employed at the jobs at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Hey, that's rough. Not fired as such. I didn't get a job. I've been here. Dang it. Careful, come on. I've been here, homie. You can put me resumes out there for no more time, dude. No, I, uh, I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work, right? They just kind of disappear. Hey, you play Whoa! Nah, not since the first couple. Okay. Ah, oh, that's the car I drove here. Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, like. We could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could just, like, shop it, you know? Play darts or get our drink on. Strip clubs. Come on, dude. I get real crazy. I didn't yeah, I know he was bad. Me, man, but, uh, hey, hey, you know what? Man, go easy on your pops, dog, all right? All right, church. Exactly, man. My brother from another mother. I mean, I, I hope so, because my mom was kind of skank back in the day. See ya. Yeah, whatever, homie. Peace.